Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and channel. So today I'm going to show you my second version of smoker rings because my first version wasn't showing you the whole thing. So for this I have here eight, eight smoke herring. Smoke herring is a fish, okay, that it has been salted and smoked and dried. Alright? And it's really really popular here in the Caribbean, all over the world in fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut cut the head off, cut the tail off, because we have to boil this to get the salt out of it. Okay. So let me cut cut them up and I'll show you the next step. Because you can't cook this just like this. It's going to be very, very salty. Have your bag for your garbage at the side. Have your bowl to put the smoke hair in. This is a popular dish as well as in, um, in Canada. In fact, this smoke herring, this box of smoke herring came from Canada. Okay. Right, so I'm going to wash them. This has to wash out, I'll show you. So wash them out. And now you put it to boil. Have your pot of water, cut in or heating for the time being while you're doing your preparation, cleaning it, cutting it out, and put them to boil. Boil it in a lot of water so the salt will get out. If you boil it in less water or a little bit of water, then it would be salty still. Okay? So I'm going to let that boil for like 5 to 10 minutes until it cracks, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished boiling. So just cover it, leave a space and okay. So the smoke herring is finished boiling. I'm going to take them out. See what I meant by it will crack? Okay, it will crack and open out. So you just gently take them out. Okay, this one has the fish eggs in it. See that? Gently take them out, have a plate or a dish that you can put it on. I have my plate here for it. And let it cool out before we start the cleaning. Then. I'll show you the cleaning process as well to drain it properly and put it in your dish. This is the rubbish so that has to come. The fish gut. So that's it. I'm gonna let this cool out. Okay. And I'll show you the cleaning process. So here I have my strained boiled smoke herring. Okay. And this is how I clean it here. Right. You just take out the pick the bones or the picker as we say here all those fine pickers and this is the fish okay put that in the next bowl 
Now some fine ones might get in, you can always take them out after. If you're putting it in a food processor to do, you don't necessarily have to get all the fine ones off. Okay. And have your garbage bag next to you so you can put your garbage inside. So you see this? This is the gut. This is what we throw away. Okay, we don't eat that. And this bone in the bone in the middle, that's what we take out. Okay. So the difference with the egg and the gut, I will show you. So the egg is a fine thing, okay? A boily, fine, sandy, grainy thing. Whereas the gut is more like a liver consistency, okay? So. The difference, see? This is the egg, which is a fine, okay, grainy thing that is edible. This gut, this is what we throw out. And the skin is what we throw out at the outside, at the back. Okay? We don't need that. So I'll clean out all and then I'll show you the next step what we do with this. So I have shredded the smoke herring in my food processor. Okay, and I'll show you the next step. You're going to put up your flat pan, an open mouth pan to hot and you're going to add some oil in it. That's about two of two of the spoons with oil. It can be three because it's a lot of onions and smoke herring. Right? So the oil is hot because I have my pot heating for a little while. So now I'm going to throw in all this onion. And squeeze them to separate them before. Okay, the pot. And we're going to get that to them. Add a tin. I'll let that fry up on high heat before adding in the peppers. These are the peppers that I'll be using. I have three chili peppers and the rest is the bird pepper. So I'm going to cut up those chili peppers. The onions have been frying up for a little time now. I'm going to continue to let them fry up until they are on the golden brown side. The onion is on the golden side here a little bit because I don't want it to be all the way brown. Now this is where I will add in my peppers. I didn't want the peppers to get sore, so we use this piece. It has to remain with that crunch in order to get that pepper piece. All those good peppers, I left them whole. When you're biting at them, it's going to be really flavorful and spicy. This is 
is where I will add my processed smoke rim that I went ahead and did in the food processor because I didn't want you guys to hear the noise. You would load on your heat, on your stove, and turn up your smoke rim to mix with your onions. Now I used about five onions because if I use less, then it's going to be a salty smoke herring chopper. That's the reason why I use a lot of um, onions, right? So it's like half and half, half onion to half smoke herring. So it will just be right. If you don't like lots of onion, just use about two onions. So it will have more smoke herring to onions. The onion, when it fries up and saute up a little bit and caramelize, it gives it like a sweet taste to it too. So it's like a sweet spicy taste with that smoked flavor. You can make this how spicy you want or less. I'll show you what it looks like with everything together. 